a lot of times I do videos and you catch me looking around. Some call it situational awareness, but really, sometimes I'm at work and I kind of have to. I don't know. Maybe I lack concentration. I don't know. See, I did it just now. So, I rarely come in the kitchen. Kind of got the wind knocked out of my sails a bit. There's um, no secret that I've been waiting around for this job for regional transit for a while now. Foregone conclusion, they said. It was going to happen, they said. Of all the guards that we have, only two applied that I know of, me and another girl. Apparently, everybody else tried the first time and failed the test, so... You know, that was such a, a shining star for me. Like, yeah, this is going to happen for me. But, um, starting to look like it's not. Uh, I don't want to say I mustered up the courage because that's not really how it went. It was really none of my business. To ask her, but I asked anyway. It's just hey, you all set for the, the 16th? Did you get all your, your paperwork and stuff? And she was like, Oh, yeah, you know, the only other person who was in the class with me has already gotten her confirmation. Tomorrow will be three weeks since I did a live scan, and I just haven't heard anything. You know, when it, we hit the two week mark, I sent an email. I talked to a couple of regional transit supervisors, and they were like, yeah, man, it's probably just a hold up with the paperwork. Just be patient. It's coming. I can't imagine that three weeks have gone by. This company is not so inept that three weeks would go by, and they wouldn't say anything, you know? So, yeah, the wind is knocked out of my sails a bit and I don't expect anybody to understand either like this is my little house you know I remember dropping to my knees one night tears in my eyes hugging my wife crying that I didn't want to leave our home I just I just wanted to provide you know, this job was good. That this job gives me that opportunity. And it's not like the job coming to an end. You know, I keep saying that, like, just because the contract is up with regional transit, I won't be a regional transit anymore. I really wanted this, this regional transit job, and I did. I remember working at, at DSP and thinking to myself, no job will ever get this easy. Like, this is the pinnacle of easy jobs. Like, it's never going to be this simple for me ever again. And I got this job, and it was then they made me a supervisor, and once I was in the truck, it's like, even easier. So, to hear that I wasn't going to get this RT job, I, mean, I keep saying that, but I haven't heard that I wasn't going to get it. I just haven't heard that I have it. And to me, the default position is no until I get a yes. I mean, there's still hope. I'm not going to get it. I could get something in the mail tomorrow. You don't know. 
there it looks more lively like my family gives me all this credit for being a provider and taking care of my family and I don't know maybe it's because the job's so simple I find it difficult to accept but One way or another, things are about to change. I don't know if I'm, I'm ready to change. Like, come June 30th, I might just, I might just get laid off. You know, until they can find me something. I make far more here than I ever did with DSP, so my unemployment would work lovely. And honestly, I would welcome the time off and I would use that time to relax, recharge, and look for other stuff. But I don't want to get out of that groove for working. You know, I want to want to hold on to that. I do 50, 60 hours a week. Like, can't do part time anywhere. I can't go minimum wage work like I've gotten this family used to a particular lifestyle you know we, we don't live beyond our means but our means have definitely improved especially considering where we were and that bothers me that things are uh, gonna change. I don't like not knowing. That that's the thing I don't I don't like to not know. I'm bummed out over an answer I haven't even gotten yet, but logically speaking, like if I was gonna get some news, I would have gotten it. I mean, I guess you can officially call it a wrap May 16th when this class comes and goes, and I'm not in it. Until then, there's always hope, right? But I just don't know what's next. I want everybody to be okay. Like, Kari is a computer programmer guy, you know, he's got clients and he's working on websites, but for him to do that, I need to be able to take care of things here. Asia, my lovely, lovely little housewife, like, how do I go to her and say, hey, Remember when I told you you want to work part time and earn some extra cash? Well, I'm gonna need you to work to take care of things. I really just just really just knocked it all out of me. I mean. I was about 90% sure when all of this started that I was going to get it. Then it dropped to about 80. Then it kind of dropped to 75. I was like, okay, it's a paperwork thing, especially after I talked to other supervisors, you know? But to hear that other people in the class have already got their stuff, and I just didn't. I guess it's just one of those things again where you the downside of being stoic, like, this, this is really, really bothering me, but no facial expressions whatsoever, it sucks, man. You know, I could be wrong. I could in a couple of days come out here and do a whole video talking about how I got it and all of this was for no reason and I was crying over spilled milk and 
a cry wolf before I even knew. I mean, it's a possibility. But that possibility is getting smaller and smaller. And it just feel like somebody would have said something to me. The only thing I could think of is I did have some citations with regional transit for not having a ticket, but I don't see how that would appear on a live scan. And then the only other thing I can think of is that they called DST and they had something negative to say about me. Maybe G4S wasn't as thorough as regional transit is, you know, and I get that because they're union, they have to be a little more selective. Maybe they, something in my past didn't sit right with them, maybe. Or maybe it was just something with my head. As of right now, I mean, technically it's May 1st, right? So they still got 15 days to say something to me, and then even if they don't, I still got a solid two months at this job before it's even time for this contract to run out. So, it's still just to have been on the roller coaster ride that we have been for so long now. Like, we've been slowly just moving up, just going up here, going up here, things are getting better, going up here, things are getting better. Doing better, got more money, got more stuff, able to make her essential oils. And I can go out and buy shirts and ties. And, you know, there was all this extra money and we were able to help people out. It's going up and going up. Eventually, we hit the top. 